Hello, it's me, Mr. Sanchez, the physics teacher at North. I'm going to give you some information about one of the classes that we offer for physics called General Physics. Now, let me give you some of the information about General Physics so that you have an idea. In short, this guy is an intro class that covers all sorts of materials in physics. It's kind of a broad sampling. And it's not as challenging as the advanced placement ones, but we do go into a decent amount of depth, so you will be challenged at least a little bit with it. Now, the great thing about it is it will give you a view into a lot of stuff that you deal with on a regular basis. Included in the class, we cover what's called Newtonian mechanics, so we'll deal with things like objects that are in motion, we'll deal with forces, get a better understanding of energy, we'll look at collisions with momentum, we'll look at waves, all sorts of stuff. We'll also take a look into fluid mechanics, so you'll understand things like hydraulic presses. You'll understand a little bit of basic plumbing. We're also going to look into thermodynamics, so you're going to build off of anything that you may have learned in chemistry. So you'll learn about engines, air conditioners, refrigerators, all sorts of stuff there. Electricity and magnetism, we're going to look at charges on force, or forces on charged particles. We're going to take a look at some basic wiring, so you're going to learn about electrical circuits. Uh, one of the things that we've done is also look into how much, uh, say, charging your cell phone will show up on your uh, electric bill. We'll also take a look at magnetism, so you guys are going to see that magnets aren't just for holding up uh, good grades on the refrigerator. It turns out that life as you know it wouldn't exist right now if it weren't for magnets. We'll also take a look at modern physics, uh, mass energy equivalents. We'll learn about E equals MC squared. Squared. We will take a look at atomic weaponry, not actual weaponry, but we'll get an understanding of what they do, how they work. Uh, we'll learn about lasers and a bunch of extra stuff there too. So that's just kind of a broad overview of the sorts of things that you'd get to take a look at. Now general physics is good for either your junior year as an introductory class, intro to an AP class for instance. It's also good, it's just as good for your senior year, if you want a broad sampling of different types of well, how science and math work together to make your life uh, possible. So um, these are the types of things that, or the, the time scales that you would want to be looking at taking them. Uh, the biggest things that you would need for physics to do well in physics is have a background as best you can in algebra. It would help as well, although it's not required, to have at least a little bit of knowledge of trigonometry. And this is basically dealing with sines, cosines, and tangents. Solving triangles, basically. Usually right triangles. That is a very poor drawing of a right triangle. Slightly better. I'll practice that. Regardless, trigonometry is not required, but it is helpful. When we start off, we'll be learning about something called vectors, where you'll need to be able to solve these, but then we'll quickly move on to some other parts of physics, and then this will show up just intermittently throughout the year. So if you have trouble with this, I can always give you a hand, but it is preferred if you've got a familiarity with it, though not required. Again, general physics is great as an introductory course. Uh, it's Especially good junior year if you want to intro into AP, either of the APs for that matter. Or it's good for your senior year if you just want to give it a try.